Last week, we gathered supplies and then hiked Cradle Mountain. Walking along the base track of Cradle Mountain, which is just up there. We then made our way to Launceston and then Jacob's Ladder. Tend to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly of this trip. Uh, I don't know if you'd call this the bad or the ugly, but we were just in Macca's for about two hours doing some work, and it was super noisy. I really want cold. my power hub back. <laughs> yeah, we um we drove past where we dropped the power hub off yesterday, which I don't think we told you guys, but we dropped it off to a battery place, and he's hopefully going to get it hopefully repaired. If not, we'll just have to buy a new one, which is a bit of a bugger. But yeah, it just means we're resorting to. You know, going to McDonald's for power. Yeah, a bit unfortunate, but... You know. Anyways, cool. Yeah. So uh, now we are driving up into the Tamar Valley area. Um, and we're going to be staying there for the next couple of days and doing some wine tours and picking up some more wine. Yeah, we're just going to go find a campsite now. So that's what we're doing. tonight for uh, Piper's Brook Vineyard so they do like self-contained camping so yeah we're just staying here for the night it's free as well so it's pretty cool Shoot on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Holly, what are we doing today? This. This is what we're doing. So we're finishing off our Tassie Dozen. We've got five more bottles five to go. Five bottles to go. We're in the Tamar Valley, so mm. we've got to buy five bottles of nice wine and try them all. <laughs> it's going to be a pretty hard day. Horrible day. Now we might get some lunch at a winery. We'll see how we go. Yeah. But it should be a nice day too. It is. It's nice and sunny. Fun. It's actually hot in Tassie. Or warm. I know, and it's autumn. It's not even summer anymore. Wow. What? What do you know? Just trying to figure out which binaries to go to, that's the next kind of issue. <laughs> First bottle of wine purchased. Today? Leaning Turch Vineyard, yeah, today. Um, beautiful little vineyard. Yeah, it was very nice. Look at it. Just gonna go check out the Leaning Church. Also, we would highly recommend coming here because the lady who helped us was so knowledgeable. She was great. Yeah, just keep learning. Keep learning yeah, today. Yeah. We've got to learn. It is leaning. Oh, <laughs> Second vineyard. Clover. Clover Hill. So Clover Hill. My friend Cassie told us to come here. She said it's her favourite place. So it looks pretty nice. Yeah, it's awesome. Architecturally designed building. Wow. Well, we got sucked in. We're staying. They do a uh, they do a cheese board. We're like the only people here at the moment. I mean, on the weekends apparently it's really busy, but uh, she's gonna do a cheese board for us. And she's gonna finish off our tasting out here while sitting on the bean bags. <laughs> like, well, of course we're gonna stay. So, unreal. This is exactly what we wanted. This is this is probably the nicest cellar door I've ever been to in my life. Yeah, like, and this cellar door's this only been open for a year. Unreal. Cool. Unreal. So Cassie, thank you for the suggestion. Yes, thanks.
Hell yeah. Finish our Tassie dozen. Um, well done. Probably won't yeah. do that in every wine region in Australia, otherwise we no. might get strapped for cash at the end. But we've got some bloody nice wine, that's for sure. Yeah, um, it's just weird because you are, you drop it off at the last winery you go to, and then that's it. They post it back for you, but it just feels weird leaving twelve bottles of wine that we've collected over five weeks with someone who we don't know, and she'll just say, "Yeah, yeah, I'll write it down, I'll post it." But yeah, anyway, um, took that off the bucket list. But yeah, so now we're gonna go get some food because we're very hungry and we've drunk a lot of wine. So. It's a po. Just cooking some dinner. What are we having? Having some tuna bucketin. So good. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm quite excited to um, eat some real food today. So all I've had is like the cheese platter and a pasty. Yeah, we um, as did Holly. Strong start to the day. It's a bit slower on the yeah. second half. Tuna bucatini cooked. It's delicious. And our night in watching billions. Are we hooked? Yeah, we're pretty hooked. Yeah. No, but so we're hooked. We need a, <laughs> we're gonna need a new um series soon. Mm-hmm. What you got? Brand new power hub. This bad boy. Oh, look at that. It's brand spanking new. This. Uh, Brandon Watson, the company that make this, um, it was a known problem um, that some of the they had a bad batch of inverters that blew on them. Um, so I took it out of Conda, but I suppose they're just a big chain of stores and they don't have the sort of well that's where I purchased I don't have the uh, I don't know customer service you know the thorough customer service you get with like a smaller place so I took it to this place this every battery just to see you know if they could replace the inverter or something and then they just got into Brown and Watson the company that makes these things and then they found out yep it's a known problem and they just replaced it with a brand new one for me unreal so still definitely recommend the power hubs <laughs> Today we hung around the Tamar Valley area, um, mainly because we needed to get the power back. Um, and yeah, we got the phone call yesterday afternoon saying that it was actually a problem. So we've come back into Launceston today to pick it up. We'll do a grocery shop and whatnot, and then we're going to go back up to the northwest coast and hang up there for a couple of days before we jump back on the boat. Before we go to Boat Harbour Beach, we're going to get road trip treats. Ooh, sorry. Yeah. Pastries and coffees. Haha. <laughs> Treat yourself Tuesday. <laughs> they ran out of treats. They ran out of oh almond croissants. Gosh. There's no other bakeries here that do that. <laughs> Thanks, Devonport, for your crappy $26 parking fine. Just wanted to do some shopping, and you find me. What do you reckon, Al? Pretty shitty. We literally parked there for five minutes. How do you like Devonport? I don't like it. Devonport's an ugly, yuck town. It has paid parking It has everywhere. paid parking everywhere. Like everywhere. It's insane. I hate you, Devonport. Here we are. Boat Harbour Beach, again. So we've decided to spend our last couple of days here. We've just taken the canopy off um, so we can take the ute for a little cruise. Um, check out the area. Go for some bushwalk stuff maybe, but yeah, it's a good little base to stay from because it's like pretty close to a town, or you're in like a little town really, and 
I don't know. I don't even know why they let people stay here, but yeah. I feel it's going to end soon because it's too good to be true. But yeah. anyways, we'll use it for now. Appliances are. Without electricity! Alright. <laughs> using it as a blanket. <laughs> Done. Wearing a clean clothes. You! Ah, uh, so. What are we gonna do now? Uh, what else do we do? I'll wash you. Um. Might just drive back to the campsite and do some more work, maybe. Some more work, chill, eat some lunch, plus some toasties. Yeah, toasty time. The world's most insane yeah, storm. Box, actually. We had the power hub in the back charging um, from the alternator as we were driving, and that storm was crazy. Came out of no, well, we could see it, and we thought we were going to miss it because it was so far away, and then all of a sudden, we just got smashed by it. <laughs> you can see where it's dry on there. It's like it's a bit wet, but not too bad. Yeah, cool. Next issue is we left uh, the window upstairs open a bit, so hopefully, it's not too wet up there. Let's go check it out in a second. But first, toasties. Sandwich press. So, what are on our sandwiches? Uh, it's a secret. You can't tell anyone. They're too good. <laughs> They're our big no. lap sandwiches. Big lap toasties. We've got. It's the best combo ever. If you haven't had a try it, well, you wouldn't have had it because it's a new thing. We made it up. Um, so, obviously, we've got some bread, uh, aioli. Cajun seasoning, salt, pepper, capers, cheese, and ham. And tomato. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, my love. It just looks so nice and sunny here, and it's gorgeous, but it's freezing still. It's so cold. Afternoon, everybody. I just washed my hair. We managed to do a workout. Um, we won't go into today, but we did because we're eating <clears throat> meat and cheese and beers and ciders and pizza, pizza for dinner. So we're horribly unhealthy and fat, so I felt like we had to do something. Anyways, we didn't really do too much, but yeah. Um, and the cheese we are going to be eating is from the Ashgrove Cheese Factory thing we went to the other day. We got the variety pack. We did. The their wine lovers pack. Ooh, the number one thing on my setup, the Yeti. The Yeti bottle opener. It's just so cool. If I could just have one thing for this whole setup to take around in Australia, wouldn't be the Ute, wouldn't be the canopy. Just be the Yeti. Look at it. It's so cool. Open your beers. It. That's about it. It's cool. Give me something to open. Ooh. With my knife. 
And then I've got a technique where I've got my fingers ready to catch. So you get it and you go. Oh shit, I missed it. I'll try another one. Yes, hop ya. Another one. Oh yeah, that's my beer. Is that oh. wine or that? <laughs> oh, look at this thing. Alright. Yep. Get in there. Oh god. Oh shit. Uh, I really put this bottle on. I need to be oh, uh, 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 ow. I caught it. Haha. <laughs> Do you reckon hole? <laughs> you look creepy. Join us next week as we spend our last few days in Boat Harbour Beach. I'm not actually taking the piss, the steepest path I've ever walked up in my entire life. <laughs> and then make some new friends. So, this is Sky Nevison's Troopy, which I 